Hi, I'm John Fitzgerald and welcome to this week's edition of Team Wealth Builders. I want to talk to you about a very, very important mental subject and that is letting go. <laughs> we all have to let go, but it needs to become a habit. And I really want to drill down into what are our habits to hold on to things. What are our habits that make us upset, that get us angry, that make us attached to things. Now why this is so important is that we've gone through, from a financial perspective alone, we've gone through a GFC and everyone's now contracted, contracted, contracted. People have lost their jobs, they've become redundant, they're in a habit of fear. We do have to shake that off. And certainly, Australians aren't that good at this. You know, Glenn Stevens came out recently and said, Australians are more worried about the Greek debt than the Greeks. <laughs> Isn't that just bizarre? And it's because we get bombarded by our media. We're such a small country, but we get absolutely smashed by our media with negativity and blame. And they're the two real things that cause us to hold on and hold on tightly because you're living in fear. I often say we need habits and we need to practice these habits every day that allow us to let go. And a couple of things, a couple of tips I'd like to give you on this. Firstly is your diet. You know, we've got to actually have a diet and, and I have an alkaline diet and I'll talk more on health. We'll do a session on health a little bit later, but I have an alkaline diet. But even in that alkaline diet, and you can look that up on YouTube, even in that alkaline diet, I always, once a year I detox and I have a cleansing phase. Now why? Because it just allows things, all the toxins in my body to exit my body. Now these are important things because out of those toxins or in the cells of your body are stuck some of all of those feelings that you can have that have gone back for years and years and years or failings that you think you had or issues that you had or things that have happened to you that have caused us to be who we are. And I often think about it when I think about people who went through the Great Depression. And there are people, and, and there's some of them still alive today, as you know, because it was only back in the 1930s. There are pe people who still practice massive scarcity. That's their habit. They still live in scarcity, which is amazing to me. I always say letting go is about living in abundance. So ask ourselves every day, how can we live in that abundance? And the most important is to be gracious, give gratitude. And the best way to give gratitude is to look after your body. That is, look after your health. I hope this tips help you today. Thanks for listening to me.